Yes, I am live now. This is Santu Sahu and you are watching Sahu's tutorial. Here I am again with the mock test for the upcoming MA set on English literature. I think everything is okay and I am audible and visible to all of you. This is day 9. But before starting the session, this is my humble request to all of you. Please do subscribe the channel and tap the bell icon to get more notification that I will upload in future. So but before starting the session, this is my humble so that you can get notifications when I will go live. So here is your first question on your screen. Let's get into the video without wasting any time. So here is your first question. That is which of the following is a novel by Richard Aldington. So here Richard Aldington has written a novel. You will have to identify that novel. So your options are death of a hero, death of a salesman, the death of the heart, death in the afternoon. So Richard Aldington has written uh, death of a hero death of a hero is the work written by richard aldington whereas death of a salesman was written by you know that uh, uh, here arthur miller and death of the heart was written by elizabeth bowen where whereas death in the afternoon was written by ernest hemingway which is a non-fiction work so death of a hero was written by richard aldington let's look at here the death of a hero here uh, is a world war one novel by Richard Arlington where the main protagonist is George Winterbone who enlisted in the army at the beginning of the World War One, and whereas The Death of the Heart is a 1938 novel by Elizabeth Wynn and it is set in the interwar period whereas Death in the Afternoon is a non-fiction work by Ernest Hemingway and it is about the ceremony and tradition of Spanish bullfighting so Spanish bullfighting tradition can be found in the uh, in the work that is called Death in the Afternoon which is a non-fiction work, non-fiction book by Ernest Hemingway and it was published in the year 1932 and the book is providing a look at the history and the Spanish traditions of bullfighting. It also contains a deeper contemplations on the nature of fear and courage. And here, uh, the death of a salesman, you know, that was written by Arthur Miller. And it is a, it's a tragedy, two-act tragedy, where Willie Loman is the main protagonist and he is a traveling salesman. And in this uh, work, uh, the theme of American dream can be, uh, it is based on the theme of American dream. And for this work, he got the prestigious Pulitzer Prize in the year 1949 and the Tony Award for Best Play. So, Death of a Salesman won Arthur Miller the Pulitzer Prize, the 1949 Pulitzer Prize. This is very important. Try to remember it. Okay. Now, there is the uh, famous character called Maya. Maya is a central character in Anita Desai's novel, Bye Bye Blackbird. No. Voices in the City. No. Cry the Peacock. None of these. So, you know that Maya uh, is the central the main protagonists of the novel called cry the peacock and it is a psychological and it is a uh, psychological it is a psychological novel it's a psychological the psychological uh, trauma of maya maya is the central protagonist of the novel under this age cry the peacock it is a psychological novel written by under this side and which of these is a novel by Vila cather Vila cather has it which novel lady chatterley's lover a lost lady portrait of a lady the lady is not for burning so here the lady is not for burning here you will see that that lady jetalis lovers you know that it was written by d.h lawrence and d.h lawrence novel this novel was banned due to obscenity so lady jetalis lover whereas a lost lady was written by Vila cather so who has Vila cather has written lost lady and portrait of a lady you know that this was written by Henry James uh, uh, here and the lady is not burning for burning this was written by whom this written by Christopher Fry a lost lady is the right option here and you the portrait of a lady is a novel by Henry James portrait of a lady just where the main character is Isabel Archer Isabel Isabel Archer is the main protagonist of portrait of a lady and a lost lady it was written by Willa Cather 
so here uh, a lost lady 1923 novel by american writer Willa cather it tells the story of marian foster and her husband captain daniel foster who live in the western town of the sweet water along the transcontinental railroad and this novel that is the a lost lady has influenced f scott fitzgerald the american dramatist to write the novel the novelist uh, the, to write the novel that is the great gatsby whereas the portrait of lady uh, is the where the main character is as isabel archer isabel archer is the main character isabel archer and here the third one that is lady at adley's lovers written by d s lawrence and it was banned it is banned due to obscenity and the lady is not for burning is a play by christopher it's a play it's a play by christopher fry moving at the question number four the first edition of world whitman world whitman's leaves of grass appeared in march uh, 1835 july 1855 august 1855 december 1858 so leaves of grass appeared uh, the first edition appeared in july 1855 b is the right option and you know that walter whitman or walt whitman is known as the father of three verse the father of is known as the father of three verse the father of free verse in American literature. The father of free verse in American literature is Walter Whitman or Walt Whitman. And Leaves of Brass was the first edition of Leaves of Brass was published in the year uh, in 1855, July 1855. The Turn of the Screw. It's a novella. It's a turn of the screw. It's a short story or novella written by Hardy, Henry James, Joseph Conrad, James Joyce. So Turn of the Screw is a short story or novella written by Henry James. B is right of son over here. B is right of son over here okay uh, moving at the question number six uh, now let's look at the explanation here the turn of the screw is an 1898 horror novella by henry james and the turn of the screw is as considered a work uh, that is both gothic and horror fiction and it begins on christmas evening it begins on christmas evening and uh, where an unnamed narrator and some other friends are gathered around a fire one of them is Douglas who reads a manuscript written by his sister's late governess and the manuscript tells the story of her being hired by a man who has become responsible for his young niece and nephew following the deaths of their parents. So this is a horror novel, a turn of the screw written by Henry James and begins on Christmas evening. Now this is the quotation here. It is the addition of strangeness to beauty that constitutes the romantic temper. It is the addition of strangeness to beauty that constitutes the romantic temper. So, in which essay, in which essay does Walter Patcher make this remark? Now, your options are Style, Postscript, Wordsworth, Coldridge. So, the right option is here, Postscript. In this, the Postscript is, a, uh, is an essay written by Walter Patcher and in that essay, Walter Patcher has remarked this, that it is, the it is the addition of a strangeness to beauty that constitutes the romantic temper. Moving on to the question number seven. Lavinia. Lavinia is a prominent character in Eugene O'Neill's play. So here the American dramatist, the famous dramatist, dramatist that is Eugene O'Neill. Lavinia is a prominent character in which work of, uh, in which play of Eugene O'Neill. Now your options are uh, the Emperor Jones, the Hairy Ape, or Marning Becomes Electra, or Bound East for Cardiff. So I am giving a clue here that uh, that work is influenced uh, with uh, influenced by the uh, by that is uh, Aeschylus Oristria trilogy okay that work and this work is influenced by Aeschylus Oristria trilogy so here the right option is Lavinia is a prominent character in Marning becomes Electra C is the right option Marning becomes Electra and this work that is Marning becomes Electra was inspired uh, by Oristria trilogy that is Aeschylus Oristria Oristria trilogy and that constitutes of and Oristria trilogy constitutes of that is uh, Agamemnon and Levation Bearers and Humanities. Oh. Let's look at here that the story is a retelling of the Oristria trilogy by Aeschylus and the characters parallel characters from the ancient Greek plays for example Agamemnon from Oristria becomes General Ezra uh, where H, um, uh, Clemens Tra becomes Christian and Orestes becomes Orin Electra becomes Lavinia. Electra becomes Lavinia. Marning becomes Electra is divided into three plays. 
uh, with themes that corresponded to the Orestia trilogy written by Aeschylus and Aeschylus three plays are Agamemnon, the Levation Bearers and the Humanities. These three plays of Egan Olin are com correspondingly titled Homecoming and the three plays of Morning Becomes Electra, you know that Morning Becomes Electra is a play circle, it's a play cycle and it, it also consists of three play here that is first one is Homecoming, the second one is The Haunted and the last one is The Haunted just like the uh, just like Agamemnon, the Levation Bearers and the Humanities. So Morning Becomes Electra is a famous work done by Eugen Olin and where the main character is here that is Lavinia uh, who is a daughter of Brigadier General Ezra Menon and Christian Menon. Their daughter is Lavinia Menon. Moving on to the question number 8 here. Gather ye rose buds while ye may, old time is still a flying and this same flower that smiles today tomorrow will be dying. This is the uh, famous opening stanza of which Robert Herrick poem, Robert Herrick's poem, the flea the, to the virgins to make much of time or the countess of Pembroke's Arcadia or Corinna's going a uh, maying. So I am giving a hint here that this uh, poem is a part of the collection of uh, poem that is called Hesperides. Hesperides is a collection of poem written by Robert Herrick and in that Hesperides this poem is included. So the right option here is to the virgins to make much of time. So B is right option here. In the poem to the virgins to may make much of time the opening stanza is gather a rose buds file a may old time is still a flying and this same flower that smiles today tomorrow will be dying. Moving at the question number 9, Lawrence of Durham's work that is Dialogy, Lawrence of Durham, so work Dialogy is divided into how many parts, so you will have to, tumko kya bolna padega? how many parts are there in Dialogy, now the right option here, uh, options are 5, 4, 3, 6, the right option here is 4, so the Lawrence, Lawrence of Durham's Dialogy uh, is divided into 4 parts, 4 is right option here, Let's look at here that Dialogy has been hailed as Lawrence's most original work and the work is set of dialogues. It is a set of dialogues in four books. So it has four books and it is averaging circa 550 lines of elegies, elegies. and the dialogues feature Lawrence, Philip, another monk of Durham and a Belton named Peter. Moving on to the question number 10 here. How many times was Robert first awarded uh, with the prestigious Pulitzer Prize? So, kitne bar Robert Frost ko Pulitzer Prize mila hai? Robert Frost ko kitni bar Pulitzer Prize mila hai? Your option is 5, 4, 3, only once. So, Robert Frost ko 4 bar mila hai? So, that is 4 is the right option here. Robert Frost has got 4 times Pulitzer Prize. So, B is the right option. Now, moving on to the question number 11. John Andrews is the protagonist, the hero. John Andrew. He is the hero, the protagonist, the hero of the protagonist of the novel called Three Soldiers. Now you will have to say who has written Three Soldiers. So in Three Soldiers there is a character called John Andrews who is the hero and you will have to identify the character, the, the, the narrator, uh, sorry the, the writer, the novelist who has written this novel here. Scott F. Scott Fitzgerald, Ernest Hemingway, John Das Passos. So the Three Soldiers was written by John Das Passos. So C has C is the adoption here. John Das Passos was written by uh, has written Three Soldiers. Now Three Soldiers is a 1921 novel by the American writer and the critic John Dos Passos. It is one of the American war novels of the First World War and remains a classic of the realist war novel genre. So it's one of the uh, classic of the uh, war novel genre. Moving on to the question number 12 here, which of E.M. Foster's novels deals, deal, uh, deals with the theme of homosexuality? Theme of homosexuality, that is a homosexual tale, tale of homosexual. Uh, homosexuality can be found in which novel? Your options are Howard Sands, Mayuris, A Passage to India or Where Angels Fear to Tread. So here the right option is Mayuris. Mayuris, in Mayuris this novel you will find the elements of homosexuality. So B is right option over here. The bridge is a remarkable achievement. The bridge, the bridge is a remarkable achievement of heart train. It's an American critic here. Uh, that the bridge is a remarkable achievement of heart train in the field of drama, novel, and poetry. So it is, uh, it is, it's a long poem actually. The bridge is a remarkable achievement of heart train in the field of poetry. So here C is the right option here. C is right option over here. Now let's look at the explanations here. The bridge first published in 1930 by the Black Sun Press 
is a heart crane's first and only attempt at a long poem and its primary status as either an epic or a series of lyrical poems remains contested. Recent criticism tends to be read, uh, read it as hybrid, perhaps in indicative of a new genre, the mono, uh, the modernist epic. Sorry, and the bridge was inspired by New York City's poetry landmark, the Brooklyn Bridge. The Brooklyn Bridge and Hart Crane lived for some time at 110 Columbia Heights in Brooklyn, where he had an excellent view of the bridge. And only after the bridge was finished did Crane learn that one of its key builders, Washington Robel, Robeling, uh, Robling, had once lived at the same address. And you know that the bridge comprises 15 lyric poems of varying length and scope and in style it mixes near that is Pindaric declamatory meter, free verse, sprung meter, Elizabethan diction and demotic language at various points between alternative stanza and often in the same stanza. So the bridge is a long poem written by Hart Crane. Uh, Hart Crane. Moving on to the question number 14 here. John Ruskin's Unto This Last, the famous one, Unto The Last, is a series of lectures. This is a series of lectures on religion, no philosophy, no art, no political economy. Yeah. So John Ruskin's Unto This Last um, is a series of lectures on political economy. He has also written uh, Modern Painters. Hmm. The Modern Painters is another famous work by John Ruskin, political economy is the uh, theme of that Ruskin's uh, le le uh, work that is unto this last. So lectures on political economy originally published in Cornhill magazine until unto this last is a series of four essays. So it is a series of four essays on the politics of economics and it is considered by Ruskin as one of his most important works. Uh, unto this last argues that uh, that, I, that it argues that that, uh, that uh, economics, art and science must have a foundation in uh, in morality okay moving on to the question number 15 here how does bram stoker's gothic horror novel dracula begin so you'll have to identify how does the novel dracula begin your options are one night while the two women are out walking they witness the approach of a strange ship no no uh, wrong answer wrong one jonathan harker a young english lawyer jonathan harker is there uh, Jonathan Harker, a young English lawyer, travels to Transylvania, Transylvania in order to finalize a transfer of real estate in England to Count Dracula. Yeah, so here the B is right option. So there is Jonathan Harker, who is a, is a young English lawyer, travels to Trans, uh, Trans, uh, Transylvania, Transylvania, and in order to finalize a transfer to real estate in uh, in England to Count, to Count Dracula. Let's look at the expansions here. It begins with Jonathan Harker, a young English lawyer. As he travels to Transylvania, Harker plans to meet with Count Dracula, a client of his firm, in order to finalize a property uh, transaction. The novel tells the story of Dracula's attempt to move from the Transylvania to England so that he may find new blood and spread the undead curse, undead curse and of the battle between Dracula and small group of people led by Professor Abraham Van Helsing. Moving on to the question number 16 here. My hair is grew, but not with ears, nor grew it white in a single night. So my hair is grey, but not with ears, nor grew it white in a single night. These are the lines from My Last Duchess to a Skylark or to Autumn, the Prisoner of Chilean. So these are the lines from the Prisoner of Chilean, that is D is right option here, written by Byron. So here, um, the prisoner of Chilean. The prisoner of Chilean. It was written by Lord Byron. My hair is grey, but not with ears, nor grew it white in a single night. So these are the opening lines of the poem called "The Prisoner of Chilean," written by Lord Byron. Seventeen number question. A hand may first, and then a leaf be kissed. For my part, to such doings I am a stranger. I am a stranger. So a hand may first and then a leaf be kissed for my part. To such doings I am a stranger. These lines appear in my last touches. No. To a skylark. Uh, no. Or to a term. No. Don Juan. Yeah. So these lines appear in Don Juan. Don Juan is the right option over here. Who wrote the mirror and the lamb? This is the magnum opus of the critic. Um, the mirror and the lamb was written by M. H. Abrams, Palmer, D. J. Barton, Russell, T. S. Eliot. So the mirror and the lamb. This work was written by M. H. Abrams. So A is right option over here. 
मुविंग एट टू क्वेश्चन नाइनटीन द राइटर अलेक्जेंड्रिया क्वाट्रेट वॉज एन आईरिश मैन हू इज ही अलेक्जेंड्रिया क्वाट्रेट वॉज एन आईरिश मैन लॉरेंस टूरल पामा डीजे बार्ट्रेन डिस रसल टी एजिलियन यू नो दैट अलेक्जेंड्रिया क्वाट्रेट वॉज एन आईरिश वॉज अ वर्क दैट वॉज रिटर्न बाई एन आईरिश राइटर नाउ द राइट ऑप्शन हेयर इज लॉरेंस टूरल लॉरेंस टूरल हैज रिटर्न अलेक्जेंड्रिया क्वाट्रेट सो हेयर ए इज राइट ऑप्शन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द बर्ड्स ऑफ पैराडाइज इज अ नॉवेल द बर्ड्स ऑफ पैराडाइज इज अ नॉवेल बाई टॉम स्कॉट नो पॉल स्कॉट वाल्टर स्कॉट जे डी स्कॉट या द बर्ड्स ऑफ पैराडाइज इज अ नॉवेल रिटर्न बाई पॉल स्कॉट बी इज राइट ऑप्शन ओवर या नाउ लुक एट दिस एक्सप्लेनेशन शेयर द पॉल स्कॉट इज द मोस्ट फेमस फॉर इज मार्च विल टेट्रोलॉजी दैट इज द राज क्वाट्रेट एंड इन दैट राज क्वाट्रेट दैट इज द बर्ड्स ऑफ पैराडाइज विच इज अ कमिंग ऑफ और अ बिल्डिंग स्टोन स्टेल इज द स्टोरी and it is the story of a boy and his childhood friendship with the daughter of a british diplomat and the son of the raja scott artfully brings his young narrator's voice to life with evocative language and i for detail capturing the pangs of childhood and bitter sweet fog of memory with nostalgic yet immediate prose hi you can also write it down in the comment box you can also answer in the comment box i will check the answer in the comment box if you want Write in the comment box. You can write it down. Yeah. So which of the following is not a theme associated with the ring eyes? Which is not a theme? Question number twenty-one. Uh, loss of religious faith, nature and civilization, class conflict, revenge and rede redemption. Revenge and redemption is a theme of the ring eyes. Class conflict is also there. Nature and civilization is also there. But loss of religious faith cannot be found in the ring height. So here A is the right option. A is right option. A A is right option. If which is not a theme. So loss of religious faith is not a theme that is not associated with the ring heights. Twenty-two. The conduct of the Alleys is a famous work by Jonathan Swift, Samuel Johnson, Oliver Goldsmith, Joseph Addison. The conduct of the Alleys is a famous work uh, written by Jonathan Swift. A is right option here. A. Jonathan Swift has written the conduct of the Alleys. Now, the conduct of the Alleys and of the late ministry in beginning and carrying on the present war was a book in essay style done by Jonathan Swift, in which he attacked Britain's Alleys in the War of the Spanish Succession, and this was published on twenty seventh November in seventeen hundred eleven. So, Jonathan Swift it was written in essay format. A. C. Bradley has written two famous books. One is Shakespearean tragedy. Now you have to identify the another one. The Elizabethan drama, no. Shakespeare's early plays, no. Shakespearean religion, no. Oxford lectures on poetry, yeah. So it was Oxford lectures on poetry. A. C. Bradley has written Shakespearean tragedy and Oxford lectures on poetry. These are two famous works written by A. C. Bradley. Next question, twenty-four. Sorojini Naidu's poem, that is the Queen of Rival. The Queen of Rival is based on a dash legend. The Queen of Rival is based on your options are Greek, Indian, Persian, Roman. Please do answer in the comment box. Sorojini Naidu's poem, The Queen of Rival, is based on a dash legend. Options are Greek, Indian, Persian, Roman. So yeah, Sorojini Naidu's poem, that is the Queen of Rival, is based on. A Persian legend. Legend. C is right option. Now, Persian legend. The poem "Queen's Rival," written by Sorojini Naidu, is based on a Persian ballad in which Queen Kulnar asks her husband, kind, uh, that is kind of uh, for Faroz, to bring her a rival competitor, as she is tired of her beauty, empty and splendor, that is richness, with happiness, which is swallow. So here, the queen is uh, tired of her beauty. That's why she needs a competitor, hmm, as much good as, as much good as her. So here, all you who all you who sleep tonight is a novel, play, collection of poems, essay by Vikram Seth. All you who sleep tonight is a collection of poems by Vikram Seth. So C is the right option here. It is a collection of poems. That is, all you who sleep tonight is a collection of poems written by Vikram Seth. And it is a 1990 collection of poems by Vikram Seth, and it has it is grouped into five sections. And a British composer, that is Jonathan Dove, set eight of the quatrains and five other poems to music 
for Nula Willis in 1996 song cycle of the same name. 26. Which novel of Kamala Markandas was prescribed by the Madras University for its BA English course but later uh, it was withdrawn because of the alleged obscenity in it. So here is a novel written by Kamala Markande and this novel was prescribed uh, by the Madras University uh, for its BA syllabus for its BA English course but what happened later it was withdrawn. It was withdrawn from the uh, university because of the obscenity so your options are nectar in a sieve some inner fury two uh, virgins the two virgins are silence of desire the right option here is the two virgins the two virgins is the right option so here c is right options this novel by kamala markand has been withdrawn from madras university due to obscenity c is right options here and nectar uh, in a sieve the title has been taken from uh, william taylor uh, samuel taylor coldridge work hmm. that is work without hope nectar in a sieve this title has been taken from samuel taylor coldridge work uh, that is uh, work without hope okay moving on to question number 27 the twice born fiction is a critical work on and on indo anglian novel the twice born fiction is a critical work on the indo anglian novel by Dr. K. R. S. Anger, uh, then you have M. K. Nayak, Minakshi Mukherjee, P. Sundaram. So the twice born fiction is a work written by Minakshi Mukherjee. C is right option here. Minakshi Mukherjee has written the twice born fiction. The rest is silent. This is the dying word of which author, uh, sorry, of which character. Uh, your options are Caesar, Macbeth, Hamlet, Lear. The rest is silent. These are the last words, the dying words spoken by before his death or the dying words. So the rest is silent. These are the dying words. Are, are by by Hamlet by Hamlet C is right option here C C is right option over here moving at the question number 29 the land of hearts desire is a dash by William Butler it's it's a poem it's a play it's a novel it's a short story so the land of hearts desire is a play is a play B is right option over here the land of hearts desire is a play by WP it's and WP it's got the Nobel Prize in the year 1923. The Land of Hearts Teacher is a play written by William Butter Eats and he got the Nobel Prize in the year 1923. It's a play by Irish poet, dramatist, and 1923 Nobel laureate William Butler Eats, The Land of Hearts Desire. Next question, question 30. The name of uh, the Grand Lama of the Lake. The name that is the Grand Lama of the Lake is given to whom? Walter Scott, Robert Sadi, William Wordsworth, Lord Byron. So the Grand Lama of the Lake, this name was given to uh, William uh, Wordsworth. William Wordsworth. William Wordsworth. This name was given to William Wordsworth. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, moving at the question number 31. The four P's is an interlude by John Haywood, Thomas Norton, Lord Buckhurst, Nicholas Woodall. The four P's is an interlude. You know that, that uh, John Haywood was the famous interlude. So obviously John Haywood has written the four P's is an interlude. So A is right option over here. Moving at the question number 32. Robert Herrick, Richard Lovelace, John Suckling and Thomas Carew, they belong to the group known as Cavalier Poets, Metaphysical Poets, Puritan Poets, Court Poets. Uh, they are all actually Cavalier Poets. So Robert, they are all Cavalier Poets. Robert Herrick, Cavalier. Moving at the question number 33. The abstract theory that is utilitarianism. Utilitarianism is the theme of Dickens novel Bleak House. Tale of two cities, no hard times, great expectations, none of these. So, you know, this is fact. Fact is very important here. That is uh, the utilitarianism theme. Uh, it can be seen in the novel by written by Dickens. Here is it is uh, hard times. Hard times is the hard times is the uh, uh, right option. Here. Hard times. Okay. Next question. Which of the following statements are not true about a G. Wells science fiction novel, The Time Machine? And it is a frame narrative. The Time Machine was written in a frame narrative. It's a frame narrative. So here the character is Venus flowers are the only piece of compelling evidence of the time traveler's travels. True. Venus flowers represent hope, of hum hope for humanity. It is true also. Uh, and Venus treats his pockets like an eccentric kind of verse for floral decoration. This is also true. It is the question is said which statements are not true. Okay. And Wells presents fear as a characteristic even more definitive of human beings than kindness. No. So here only uh, that is four is not true here so only one only three both one and three only four so here only four is the right option so four is a wrong one uh, and other options are right 
so d d is the adoption over here moving on to the question number now let us know sorry let us look at the explanations here the time machine is six science fiction novella by hg wells uh, published in the year 1895 it was written a uh, frame narrative the work is generally credited with the popularizations of the concept of time travel by using a vehicle or a device to travel purposely and selectively forward and backward through time and on the cover of the book the white flowers can symbolize awareness devotion and innocence and contrast with the machinery of the time of machine it is the kindness of the eloi eloi is a character there eloi at the time traveler can locate their humanity and Vena loves putting flowers in the time traveler as pockets she treats his pockets like an eccentric kind of verse for floral decoration so d is the right answer which is not a true one moving on to the question 35 the one remains the one remains the many change and pass heaven's light forever shines earth's shadow ply so the right options the above two lines occur in your options are skits hyperion hymn to intellectual beauty or Sally's Adonis, Kids Ode to Psyche. So these lines appear in Sally's uh, elegy on Kids that is Adonis. Sally has written an elegy on the death of Kids that is Adonis is the right option here. C is the right option over here. Okay, so these are 35 questions that I have discussed. Thank you once again for watching the video. And uh, this is my humble request to all of you. Please do subscribe the channel and tap the bell icon that and I will, when I will upload, you will get the notifications. Thank you. And if you want me to make video on any particular topic, you can write me down in the comment box. You can suggest me. I will definitely try to make video on this topic. Thank you once again.